All right, cool. So I am going to cover a little bit about using um, Dojo to build web components that you can compile, build out, and then share them, and then use them in any other uh, application you might like. It is uh, pretty cool, right? There's some uh, pretty good doc on the Dojo IO site about how you can go through and build web components. Web components are pretty nice. I they can get tricky to use every now and then, and then there are certain frameworks that they um, they work a little better than others and stuff, but uh, I like the idea of building out um, uh, web components uh, simply for the fact that it's a little easier to uh, build a library of web components and have to maintain, let's say, three to four different libraries for three to four different frameworks, right? Um, and there's ways you can do it. You can have this kind of data model structure, I suppose, that handles all the business logic. Uh, for your suite of libraries, and then you had create all these different UIs, and but I mean that just seems like a lot of overhead. Uh, depending, I, I would prefer uh, just working directly with web components. I think they work out really nice, right? So uh, let's assume uh, I create a new uh, web component in here. Ooh, I know, I can make a uh, Twitch uh, web component. All right, so it's just a basic iframe. Uh, it takes the Twitch URL. Uh, parent streamer news and stuff like that in my blog site i actually have a, a widget i made specifically for embeds right i suppose it's not really a twitch embed it's just a, a general all-purpose iframe embed that you can use specifically i built it for twitch because it's got like the whole url and the params you can uh, pass to it which would work just fine with twitch and let's make an embed TSX. If you let me talk for hours, I will. So let me go ahead and import uh, from Dojo framework for VDOM. Okay, so I need the uh, create here and uh, TSX, no big deal. Yes, I know I'm not using it yet. Um, oh, I've got a little helper for parameters. I'll take care of that in a second. Um, Okay, so also uh, I'm going to create a little interface here. So interface for embed properties. And it's just going to take a URL, string, and uh, some options, right? And these options are just going to be whatever the um, parameters are that you pass to this um, URL parameters, right? I mean, that's pretty much all, all we care about. It's going to have a key that's going to be a string value. And this could be a string. And this is just basically a hash map typing it. So I'll create a... So Dojo typically calls this method a factory because, I mean, technically, I guess it is a um, uh, widget factory method. I don't know. I kind of like to call it render when I'm just doing... I'm not using um, snippets to do stuff like this. I don't... It doesn't matter. You know, it's not exposed. It's an internal function that just gets used. So it's no big deal, whatever you call it. I can call it fun stuff if I wanted to, right? So this is how you get, um, it'd be nice if I did an equal sign here. So basically this is how you're gonna define um, the Dojo widget factory to have uh, properties and you can type those properties. And TypeScript will be all nice and happy and everything. So I can now export default. I use full functions. I don't do the um, arrow functions. I give them names, right? This is still very helpful for stack trace uh, errors. So if something goes wrong, you can check out stack trace and hopefully uh, figure out exactly where it's going to. Um, useful, useful stuff. So, okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and get my uh, properties out of here. Extract the properties from the function. And we're going to go ahead and extract some properties from my properties. And this properties is a uh, function so that, um, you know, the, uh, what do you call it? The properties are, are up to date. You don't get stale properties. Now, uh, we're going to reach, uh, I need to get those params. I need a little helper function. How did I do this here? Let me go. And I've got a URL params uh, helper, which is uh, kind of cool. Now, if I come back here, how do I do this? Uh, params may be equal to two URL params. Pass the options to that. Okay, 
Cool. So now we just go ahead, need to go ahead and return the iframe. We're going to pass the URL and then a uh, forward slash question mark. And then it's going to go ahead and be the URL params. So just be our params there. That's it for that. Let's go ahead and make the width uh, 100%. And that way it'll be, I need to make that, what am I doing? Uh, that way, it will go ahead and uh, expand to whatever container we put it in, uh, which is pretty nice. Frame border. Going to be equal to zero. Because you don't want that. Those are weird looking iframes. They have those frame borders and stuff. So that's cool. We don't need that. Uh, let's do uh, scrolling. Going to be equal to no. Do not allow that. And then allow full screen. Um, I did it here, so let's go ahead and allow it. And it's true. Okay, well, why did I do that? Bad habit, bad habit. I should give it a height. Uh, let's give it a height of 350 pixels. Just for fun. Okay, so there's my small embed widget. Uh, let's go ahead and use this somewhere. Just want to make sure it works. So let's do bed. Don't need that. That's what it was. And there I am, live. Look at me. Yay. Okay. That is really going to freak me out looking at this uh, exception wise here. Uh, so let's go ahead and go to another page real quick. So, okay. This was all about web components. I, I just built a component. I'm completely off track of what I meant to do. Uh, but so now I've got a component and I want to create it as a web component, right? So if we look at the Dojo RC part here, it's got the um, uh, build widget that I want you to go ahead and tweak. Um, that was build app, but okay. Not I haven't done this in a while. Uh, so let's do the uh, build widget. All right, and... Uh, I need to give it a prefix for, you no, know, this could be like, um, uh, this would normally be like your org. If you're going to publish this as a package to NPM, this would be what the org uh, might be, right? So all of the dojo uh, widgets, for example, I think are prefixed with um, dojo. So I'm going to prefix mine. Why not? Odo. I know channels called Odonet, but Odo is the actual um, nickname. All right, so source, widgets, embed. All right, so that is the uh, one that I want to do. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, quit that, save it. Let's do a dojo build widget. Ah, so I got to install the uh, CLI part for that. Probably should have read the doc much more carefully than I did. Uh, so once I do the build, uh, so according to this, I'll get a this directory will now contain uh, my uh, has built custom elements. So there's my uh, JavaScript file. I should be able to do this. I should be able to say Odo dash embed like so. so I'm going to say URL is going to be equal to. I might have to tweak this a little bit because uh, I did not do any kind of null checking there. Oh, there we go. And we've got full meta again. Ooh, look at that. There's my, my iframe for my Twitch embed uh, using a custom element, which really is just an iframe in this case, but it's, it's cool. I could do some other stuff with it, right? I can validate uh, the URLs and everything, maybe add some of my own stuff or whatever. But that is how you can get those custom elements going. So the key to remember uh, the Dojo RC. It's the Dojo RC where you set up all the work. You set up the build widget uh, property in here, give it a prefix, and so I did uh, Odo. I mean, you can do uh, BS, FU, uh, Dojo does Dojo for their widgets. Uh, and just to show this kind of cool this is, let's go ahead and uh, clear that. That's it. That's how you can build some custom elements using uh, Dojo. Try it out. See if you enjoy it. Thanks a lot.